Breakdancing is a new superhuman sport, you know, and the, and the sport is the art of movement, you know, just looking at movement as its most ergonomic and most urban concept, the most earthy kind of amalgamation of clay and how the body opens up the possibilities for movement. And that is what you really are seeing with some of the different breakdancers today. And what's amazing is Dean Clark is one of those because with the, with the new onset of of breakdancing and folks like Zero Gravity as a production company of breakdancing and hip-hop dance. It's, it's truly amazing to watch where Dean Clark, um, both based in Syracuse, New York and in France, are really starting to help to take um, breakdancing. But I'll tell you, one of the most important elements of breakdancing and hip-hop, which cannot be overlooked, is the notion that hip-hop looks backwards. Hip-hop looks back to its origin. It constantly pays homage to its foundation and to the people that allowed for it to exist at its most basic design and presentation. So that's what hip-hop is about, I believe. Hip-hop is about paying homage to those who came before you as you attempt to add your voice or your movement to where it's going in the future. There are different classes of b-boys and there's a lot of cats who are really into the foundation and really into the old school stuff. And then there's those kids who just learn everything from the internet really. And they just kind of do, it's more, it's more of a, like a gymnastics or a acrobatic type of thing rather than breaking. So what it really comes down to is knowing that foundation, playing with the music because it's a dance and a lot of people don't dance to the music, they just kind of they just kind of do whatever on the floor. Never forgive action volume three. You can look at all of these things. You can look at crumping, you can look at break dance, you can look at hip hop, you can look at social dance, you can look at sidestepping, you can look at all of it. And the common thing is just that there is either a need for release or a desire to enjoy that comes from this whole ethnic experience. Because those are the only two, the two things that exist at the foundation of hip hop. You know, that there's a reason, that there's a message that needs to be said, or we are just like, just so enjoying the fact that that moment exists for us at that time. We fight every night, now that's not closure. I reminisce with Lissa when we was closer and wake up to be greeted by an argument again. Act like a ten, so immature. I try to concentrate on the cure and keep looking at the front door. Thinking if I were to be back, you would probably be straight and straight. You wouldn't have so much hate because you don't know the pain I feel. As far as dance in itself, the freedom comes from whatever you feel, you know. It's an expression of yourself. It's like you don't dance to please someone else, you dance because you love it, you know. And well, 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 when I when I look at freedom, I believe like when I dance, I look at the floor as a canvas, you know, and I paint a picture, you know, and like uh, to some it might be beautiful and to others it might be okay, you know, but to me it's how I feel and how I express myself. So it's never really could uh, something that you can scrutinize or, or criticize, you know, it's my own personal thing. And, and if you like it, you embrace it, and, and that's great, you know. And if you don't, you know, maybe we can build on that, and maybe you can teach me something new. It all spins back to the fact that hip hop ended up challenging the establishment to see that it had a right to exist, and that ethnic folks and people of color had a right to be heard and isn't it amazing that now it has become the heard ent entity and element and now other folks are using that to be able to have voice you know so that it has become 
probably one of the greatest tools of, of true diversity and integration that I have seen in America in 30 years. And that's the great thing about hip hop. It's the only place in which new is um, celebrated. Most origins of information and education, they, they beseech people, they attack folks that come up with something new because they believe that it's, it, it, it's an erosion of the foundation that they get to exist by, you know? So it's, it's, it's really cool. Hip hop and, and this whole um, urban movement celebrates the new. Yeah, y'all, we got some man therapy, plus my man research holding me down as always. LGA status, uh.